Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it your goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 108, NASDAQ up 11, S&P's up 13, gold contract down $14, traded 1,327 an ounce. Silver off 54 cents at $20.28 an ounce. Platinum down 15 at 1,431 an ounce. Copper off five and a half pennies at 2.97 a pound. Light sweet crude off 94 cents at 99 dollars and 43 cents a barrel. Bonds you had the 10 year flat at 123.13. The 30 year might as well have been flat up four ticks at 132.03. King dollar up 222 ticks trading at 80.35. Euro down 55 at 137 and the yen up 10 at 102.42. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. It was called, folks. One what's going on in your world. In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, another day. We go down yesterday. We go up today. Bottom line, you're at eighteen sixty nine point ninety seven. Now, we go up on five hundred fifty million. Yesterday, you come down with six sixty three. The real benchmark out there is on the 13th, of course. That's where the S&P went from 1874 down to the price point of uh, 1841. Bottom line, it's going to need a lot more volume to get up and over this 1874.40. We take a look at the SPY, and this is what you have. Uh, the SPY is set up like this. SPY was up a dollar today, dollar and eight. When we came down on the 13th, you came down with 155 million. We got to a lower low with 153 million. You went topside with 101 million. That was on, let's see, Tuesday. Then we come down with 176 and you go up with 109. This market has no juice to the top side, folks. The testing procedure, yes, is over and over and over again. There's no doubt about that. Inside the Dow Industrials out here, let's take a look at the Dow. You had the Dow Industrials up 108 bucks out here today, and what you have, same type of setup. Now, the Dow is the weaker indice, meaning the, the Dow high was uh, generated out there December 31st. You know, the financials today, we'll go over the financials, because the financials had some strength in them. And uh, as, as the market closed, uh, the Fed results came out of the stress test uh, bottom line. The uh, market definitely knew that. 29 out of the 30 U.S. banks made are exceeded the capital targets in the stress test. We go over to the NASDAQ composite. So composite out here, also huge contraction on volume. 1.8 versus 2.4 billion. Uh, the composite also, the downdraft that was created out there the 13th, uh, big number on the, on the 13th, of course. Uh, we have the, the 13th, she came down from uh, 4339 to 4242. Uh, monster volume. I suspect that the NASDAQ is not going to make this 4343 level. Gold contract. We take a look at gold. What we had with gold is this. She comes down to a price point today of 1320, closes this level out at 1327, and it's going to be pretty cool because once I'm finished this update, I'm going to go with our man Rick in British Columbia. And uh, bottom line is, folks, you get a little tiny doji in the middle. And the, bottom, the reason I'm thinking of Rick, we used to call him BGO man, then we called him doji man. Uh, bottom line, that very well is the halfway move. Now, if that's the halfway move, this is going to get really trippy in the gold market because that would set up the uh, a run down to about the 1250 mark. Big number, no doubt. Bonds. We're going to take a look at the bond market. We take a look at the 10 year first. Would you have 10 year? You had a flat market out here today. Now, would you want to see what well, I want to see in the 10 years? I want to see the 10 year basically get into the lows, uh, which is of yesterday, which is 124, 24. I want to see that get tested. The 30 year looks to me like it's not even going to get close to busting the, that swing low. 30 year is just refusing. 
Uh, actually, this is pretty cool, too. Uh, this is great. The 30-year actually tested the low of yesterday and rejected it. That's, that's what it's going to take uh, to get higher prices in the, those bond markets. Dollar index. The dollar, folks, just took off topside. Had the force behind it. Second day with force behind it. Uh, dollar is at index is 80 point. Three five. She's on her way up to this eighty one uh, fifty level. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go to Rick in British Columbia. Hey Rick, what's going on? How you doing there? Well, you know, forget the Doji. Um, I put the well, actually phoning about the XLF, which is is the, was powerful today. That's it, why I want to. It was know, big time. Yes. That's why I say, okay, where are we going with this? And and no earnings. Maybe the market's just going to follow like geese, you know, until they top out type of thing, right? But um, the, the gold contract, what I, you mentioned that earlier, and I put the continuous contract on a weekly. Vol, uh, weekly. Okay. And it looks to me like a lot of golds, um, forget Newmont because uh, it, it, you know, it had some bad things, but a lot of the golds are forming. Uh, I think we might get a little bounce in the golds here. Just you put a right shoulder on them, but a lot of them are just going back to there and I've back to the neckline because a lot of them had inverted head and shoulder formations and gold had the same thing and uh it's right around the 1250 1260 and and on a weekly i see we broke that area on lighter volume as well okay i don't know if you get the volumes on that i i uh, do i do and it looks to me like the the real price over the last three months is down around you know the 1260 to 1240 week there um, yeah, I think it was second. Yeah, 30. 12, 1230, it is. It's 1237 to 1267, right. And that's the real volume and down. And when we took off there, we didn't, I, I, we, we went up on fumes there, you know. And uh, I think we're kind of, um, like, you know, I, I don't know if gold's going lower tomorrow or not. We might get a small bounce and then um, yeah. uh, come back down to that level there. Now, um I haven't really studied the XLF. I don't know if you're looking at any too many of the financials, but uh, it's probably worth our while to look at uh, what was real strong today, and that was the financials. It, it was the only thing that was strong. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, and, that, and that's not enough to basically, you know, get it, the market to higher price. But if we take a look at the XLF, we, there's no doubt the XLF was up 35 cents today, folks. Um, where where I suspect, you know. Can they get a little bit higher? I, I expect they will. But what you do have is that the XLF itself is running into just monster, you know, three months from the 2008, four months, actually. It's running in from June going all the way over to September with just incredible amount of volume. You're talking about uh, $3.1 billion, $5.6 billion, and $6.2 billion, you know. Uh, if we go over, let, let's go over to J.P. Morgan, because J.P. Morgan is, is the largest. Um, well, actually, I better check this again. One second, hold XLF, because this does move around a little. XLF. What we're checking, folks, is what, what the largest weighting is right now inside of this. Oh, okay, so Wells Fargo is the largest weighting right now. Oh, it's really the same. J.P. Morgan is 8.0%, 0.5%. Wells Fargo is 8.42, and Berkshire is 8.1%. So let's go to Wells Fargo first. WFC, so we take a look at Wells Fargo, that is, look at that, this is, that's a sweet ABC up. Okay, so let me put this on a weekly for a second. Did not have the volume relative to yesterday, though, did it? I mean, it had huge volume, don't get me wrong. It has, it has enough for an ABC up, that's for sure. Oh, yes, it does. Um, and actually, this side, actually, Wells Fargo broke to an ABC up uh, two weeks ago. So your A point on this is 40, your B... Is 46. You see, is 44. Oh, I love it, man. Okay, so check this out, folks. See, this is this is where this gets, really gets cool. So Wells Fargo was an ABC up. It broke on a weekly basis, and it broke that uh, the week of March 7th. And the price projection is 50 bucks. Let me go over to BAC. I uh, know JP Morgan. See what that did. So JP Morgan, you had the price spread out here today. If we bring this back for a weekly. That didn't take it out, but it's going to take it out this week. So the real question is, what's the... So you get A of 50, B of 59. They're all finishing ABC up right now. Mm -hmm. So that's per You know what's so sick about this, folks? Uh, you stay right there, Rick. What's so sick about this 
is at the end of ABC Up. That's when people are buying it, so they get just taken pretty quickly. You stay right there. Rick and I are coming right back, folks. We ended now uh, up 108. NASDAQ up 11. S&P's up uh, 14. We're going to be right back.